Yeah, so the chlorophyll <laughs> I actually <laughs> saw it in the store. Sitting on the shelf? In 2009, and I didn't buy it. Oh, no. I, didn't like, I didn't like the color. You didn't like the color. <laughs> and now it's worth like 4K, 3K, if it's still alive. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to yet another episode of Oak Street TV. Today we have the famous the Pata, Pata MX1, MX1 Monarch. Monarch. Right. This a is very uh, shoe. a return from Pata to the Air Max 1 Their roots, Arena. Their roots right? Um, well, I mean, the Air Max 1, as many people probably know, is one of the cornerstones of Dutch sneaker culture. <laughs> Which are like, uh, guys, Pata guys, is, a, close is, to a, your heart, is an Amsterdam-based uh, uh, sneaker store. And um, they have had, had quite a track record in Air Max 1s. So back in the late zeros, noughties, you had, of course, the famous Pata and Para Cherrywood yes, Air Max 1, which is one of the most sought after. coveted sought yeah, after Air Max, Air Max 1s. Ones ever. Then the chlorophyll, yes. the which you saw, denim, you have a story denim. On that. <laughs> yeah, so the chlorophyll, I actually <laughs> saw it in the store. Sitting on the shelf? In 2009, and I didn't buy it. Oh, no. I, didn't like, I didn't like the color. You didn't like the color. <laughs> and now it's worth like 4K, 3K, if it's still alive, because we yeah. know, of course, the, the infamous crumbling air bubbles yes, of the Yes, of Air-Max course, one. of course. And then the Pata and Amex One uh, Amsterdam is another well-known one with with its cancelled brother, the Albert Heijn, oh, one yes, of the yes, all-time yeah. most rare Amex Ones ever. Anyway, Pata is well-known creator of Amex Ones. They have this thing of keeping it simple mm. but distinct, and they've done it again. This is one of the yeah, just awesome, just amazing, amazing shoe. The main difference, obviously, being the the wavy pattern of the the mud guard of the mud guard. Yes, correct, correct. Very beautiful. Uh, materials have been true to the essence of uh, all classic Air Max. Uh, you know, mesh with suede, and yep. of course, the very nice touch is the off white sail color midsole with the yep. air bubble, yep. and a very very beautiful uh, color palette for the sole. Exceptional color blocking. This, the, the moment this hit the internet, of course, the sneaker world went into a frenzy because there hasn't been a very uh, blockbuster MX1 collab release in recent times. Right? Yeah, yeah. A lot of Jordans, a lot of, uh, you know, Downs. Yeah. Right? And uh, of course, uh, other other sneakers as well. But uh, classic MX, uh, not one that we really feel were, you know, were hit make a wave in the sneaker scene. Yeah, I mean, there's also not many brands that can pull off an Air Max 1, I think, in today's correct, sneaker correct, culture. Correct. And, and Pata is maybe one of the few that, that can create Successfully waves. Successfully. It was released with a couple of short movies tied to yeah, it. Yeah. And it's also dropping in another color blue. Yeah. Um, a lot of effort behind this release. Yeah. yeah a lot of effort. Well a lot done. of good branding, well good storytelling. Even the box, like the box, absolutely beautiful box we have right yeah, here. Yeah, we'll get into the box yeah. in a bit. I want to I wanna focus a bit more on the shoes. So yeah. you have sort of like, apart from from the wavy pattern, we have the the pata branding on the tongue, and the, and the tongue has a has a very nice uh, material yes. uh, around it. The edge, yeah, the, the edge has this nice, nice uh, sh- shimmery uh, f- uh, weaved fra- fabric, yeah, and the tongue has this uh, plush uh, fabric to it with yeah. the pata branding right there. And the insole has pata branding as well, yes. so it's subtle, subtle but nice. But then, yeah, so we have uh, a pair with a special box today, which is just epic excellent box really very really beautiful with the foil stamping pata branding with love Nike. life on the side um, yeah what does it say familiar Everything. love for all yeah just yeah. nice nice box moving on to the shoe we have a very very um, tasty colorway right here with very plush upper suede everything on the shoe feels premium uh, very well constructed. The uh, QC looks on point. Yeah. The the inner uh insole looks uh comfortable and nice with the MX MX unit here. Overall, you know, I personally I've not been uh deep into MX uh of late. You know, as as we said, not many uh breakout releases, but this one I'm actually severely tempted myself right now. Yep, yeah. I I've already uh, <laughs> yeah, I already yeah, got, yeah. right. I'm Indeed actually uh, thinking yeah. about the blue colorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah the blue nice. colorway is very nice as well. Uh, the laces, even the laces, the subtle color, the laces, and then another extra yeah. There's pair, another pair of laces right? which is uh which is more in line with the with the midsole. 
uh, that you could yes. put. And then it also comes it's special a box special, version. A special box version has comes this. with this trinket, yeah. which has uh, Pata sign, the Nike sign. So uh, yeah, it has a uh, it has a lot of uh, a few nice extras. This is a nice. Yeah, touch. this is really really uh, a nice uh, trinket. Yeah. So let us know what you think. For me, this is a no brainer. Yeah, it's um, a definitely definite cop, right, 100 guys? Hundred percent cop. Yeah, straight to feet kind of release. Straight to feet. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> straight to feet. I'm very happy with this release. <laughs> Let yeah. us know how you feel about it. Uh, are our Air Max still? Uh, yeah. Is there still love for Air Max? Definitely. I think so. We see yeah, now that this one is really yeah, popular. Yeah, it's definitely coming back, and definitely is something that people will not stock in their closets. They'll definitely be rocking it. I hope so. Yeah, I yeah, hope so. I think yeah. most of the uh, OG Air Max hits will definitely be rocking a Pata thing to bring us back to the era of nostalgia uh, in early sneaker culture. And once again, this has been yet another episode of Ox Street TV. Like, follow all socials, comment down below what kind of content you'd like to see, and till next time, enjoy yourself and remember to copy your verified cakes on Ox Street. See you next time.